Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. One of the most common questions we get because we offer standard tooling and high performance tooling is, well, what's the clamping difference between an ER system up to a high performance system like PowerGrip? So let's take a few minutes and let's see for ourselves. As a quick example of how we went through and cleaned all of our tool holders, whether they be power grip or shrink or the ER products, let's go through what these assemblies look like, how we clean them, just to give you a good example. So all the tools are using a half inch pin. This is a H6 maximum diameter, so it is almost exactly a half inch size. They are 50 millimeters in length and they have a 16 millimeter head size on those that allow us to hook it to our load meter to get our measurements. These are all made out of high speed steel and they are highly polished, so they're very consistent from one to the next. Cleaning process is pretty simple. Uh, we like to use alcohol for cleaning our test tools. So a little alcohol on the tool shank and simply wipe it off to get rid of any hand greases or oils left behind from storage. And this tool is now ready for use. As far as the holder itself goes, they were all cleaned about the same way. Um, I like to use my little nylon brushes and again, my alcohol, pour a little in the ID and give it a good clean to make sure that we get all the oils and preservatives out of the ID. Now I will take this over and blow it out with some air, but we won't show that here online. As far as the ER product goes, we do the same thing for the pin. We will clean the pin and we will clean the collet itself to get rid of any oils or preservatives on that. Make sure they're nice and clean before we go through to our, our setup and our assembly. Now that we have our tool holders cleaned, we've put them into a fixture and we have that fixture located behind our torque device. Now if you've seen our previous videos, you've seen us use this torque device in the past and it's pretty simple. I have a worm gear drive where I rotate the handle. As the handle rotates, it applies torque to the output shaft and we measure the twisting torque through our load meter. Pretty straightforward application. As you saw in our assembly, these are half inch pins and they have a 16 millimeter hex on the top. So let's get started. First holder we're gonna test is the basic ER tool holder. Again, this is a non-performance type of ER tool holder. It's just your basic metal to metal uh, catalog type of assembly. Go ahead and put this into our spindle. And let's see what our torque value is. Doesn't take long. So if you remember in the setup, we put 100 foot pounds in and it twisted right at 40 foot pounds on the way out and it settled in at 34. So a pretty substantial loss just based on the fact it's not a performance ER system. Now let's check the RegoFix ER system with the high Q nut. Again, 100 foot pounds in. Sometimes it takes longer to get the hex to line up than it does to do the actual test. So 100 foot pounds in and we get 102 foot pounds out. So pretty much a one to one ratio for the output. Now moving into the high performance line. Uh, this is our hydraulic holder. It's a half inch ID and it's clamped down on that full 50 millimeters length of shank. So our hydraulic half inch holder gives us an even 100 foot pounds of torque. Now let's move into the shrink fit tool holders. Again, it's a half inch uh, half inch ID on the shrink holder, 50 millimeters of engagement, and this is a high performance shrink line. 
So let's see how it does. So right at 153 foot-pounds of slip torque, which is a significant increase from the ER or the hydraulic. Now shrink comes in many different flavors, obviously. So we decided to also test one that has the thicker walls on it to see if it gives us any substantial difference in clamping torque. So what does the thicker wall shrink provide? And surprisingly, it's only 154 foot-pounds. So only a one foot-pound difference in clamping force. So hopefully the added rigidity would make up for uh, the cost difference between those two holders. Now let's move into power grip. So power grip, of course, is the RegoFix system. Uh, the first half inch we're gonna test is the uh, thin wall PG15 half inch. So let's see where it falls in line with the other ones. And where does PG-15 fall in line with everything else? So right at 168. So right off the bat, the, uh, the smallest size that we offer that can do a half inch um, already exceeds the other performance systems and the ER systems previously tested. Let's move into PG-25. Uh, again, half inch, 50 millimeters of engagement. Where does PG-25 fall in line on this? Uh, about 266 foot-pounds of twisting torque. So you can see there's a substantial difference in clamping force or twisting torque going from something like a PG-25 all the way back to even a RegoFix ER. So the benefits of clamping force and TIR are significant as you move up the performance line from a non-performance ER up through hydraulic, shrink, and even into power grip. Now that you've seen the results of the torque testing, you can see how something as simple as a half inch cutting tool or test pin in our case can have dramatic differences, whether it's a basic ER system all the way up through a high performance system like the power grip. We think the results speak for themselves as far as the torque values you will get using the Power Grip system. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to your RegoFix technical team. We're here to answer questions.